hello everyone welcome back to our channel today we are discussing interview question and answers for microsoft azure database administrator associate dp300 if you find this content helpful please like comment and subscribe you can download the complete list of question and answers from the playlist link provided in the description do share please the question is explain the difference between azure sql database and azure sql managed instance your answer should be azure sql database and azure sql managed instance are both managed database services on the azure platform but they cater to different needs azure sql database a single database or elastic pool managed by Azure, designed for modern cloud applications that require high availability, scalability, and built-in intelligence, offers serverless and hyperscale tiers for dynamic workload, does not support some SQL Server features like SQL Server Agent, cross-database queries, and linked servers. Azure SQL Managed Instance, a fully managed instance for SQL Server in a cloud, providing near 100% compatibility with on-premise SQL Server. Ideal for lifting and shifting existing SQL Server applications with minimal changes. Support SQL Server Agent, cross-database queries, linked servers, and CLR. Provides VNet integration for enhanced security and network isolation. Our next question is, what is the role of Azure Active Directory, Azure AD, in managing access to Azure SQL database? Your answer should be, Azure Active Directory, Azure AD, plays a crucial role in managing access and identity for Azure SQL database. Centralized identity management. Azure AD allows centralized management for user identities, enabling single sign-on, SSO, and simplifying access control. Role-based access control, RBAC. Administrators can assign roles and permissions to users and group of Azure AD Controlling access to the database based on job roles and responsibilities. Multi-factor authentication, MFA, enhances security by requiring multiple forms of verification before granting access to the database. Conditional access policies, define and enforce policies based on user location device status and risk level, ensuring secure access to the database, <coughs> auditing and monitoring, track user activities and login attempts through Azure AD logs, helping with compliance and security monitoring. Our next question is, how can you implement data encryption in Azure SQL database? Your answer should be, data encryption in Azure SQL database can be implemented using several methods. Transparent Data Encryption, TDE, automatically encrypts the database, associated backups, and transaction logs without requiring changes to the application. TDE uses certificates stored in the master database, always encrypted. Protect sensitive data such as credit cards, numbers, or social security numbers by encrypting data at rest and in transit. Encryption keys are managed by the application, ensuring that data remains encrypted throughout its life cycle. Column level encryption encrypts specific columns in the table using symmetric keys and certificates. This method requires application changes and handle encryption and decryption. 
Dynamic data masking limits sensitive data exposure by masking it to non-privileged users. <clears throat> While not in form of encryption, it helps to protect data from unauthorized access. Transport Layer Security TLS, <clears throat> ensures that data transmitted between the database and applications is encrypted using SSL TLS protocols. If you find this content helpful, please like, comment and subscribe to our channel. If you are preparing for any Microsoft based certification, you can download the complete list of valid, tried, tested, current and updated question and answer from the playlist link provided in the description. Wishing you all the very best. Thank you.